Hi, today we're going to be looking at Delphi object oriented programming and we're going to combine this with text files. I've already set up my object class, so I want you to quickly set up an object class. And my object class is called mstudent underscore u. I've done to save time, I've declared the object class to be of type t student. And in my private section, I have the following attributes f name, which is of type string, f grade, f English, and f maths, which is of type integer. So we're going to store the grade of a student, the English marks, and the maths mark. Then in my public section, I've declared my constructor and my methods. The constructor is create, and I have one, two, three, four parameters. S name, which is of type string, S grade, S English, and S mate, which is of type integer. I have a function declared, and this is an accessor met method named function get average and the name suggests it will find the average of the English and maths marks. I have two procedures, two set methods and we call them mutator methods and they are called set English and set maths and we have a parameter i English of type integer and we have a parameter in set maths i maths which is of type i integer. And then I have a function named two string which is an auxiliary method that will concatenate all the fields in the object. I'm going to now use Control shift c and that sets up the skeleton for my procedures, my functions and my constructor. And we're going to start to add meat into the constructors. So in my first constructor, T students create, I'm going to now Assign all the global attributes, the F name, F grade, and I'm going to assign them to the local parameters. So our code is F, control space, name, which is assigned S, control space, name. So we've now passed on S name to F name. We're now going to pass on F grade. My naming convention allows me to pick up my variables quite easily. So F grade is assigned S grade, control space. And I'm going to have F English, control space, which is assigned S English. And the last one, F mats, which is assigned S mats. So I've set up my constructor where the local parameters will pass on the values to the global parameters. Next one I have a function, get average, and it's very simple. The function is going to return the average of the English and maths marks. So I'm going to say result is assigned, which will allow us to return. And I'm going to pick up F English control space plus F maths control space. And we're going to add both the values, and we're going to divide that by 2. And that will find the average of the maths and English mark. We're going to go on to the next one, set English, which is our mutator method. And that's going to allow us to change the English mark. So if English, control space, is assigned the value of the local parameter, which is I English, which will be passed from the driver class which we'll look at later. So F English is assigned I English. We're also going to do the same thing for maths. F maths is assigned the parameter I maths. And the last one is used to concatenate all the attributes. And I'm going to start off with the attributes. The first one is F name plus F grade plus F English plus F maths. And that is to concatenate. So once that is concatenated, all the fields are concatenated, we're going to assign that to result, which will 
return, and we've declared the function of type string, so it will return a string value of all the fields concatenated. Now you'll notice I have not add any formatting to this as yet. So to add formatting, all we have to do if we want them on separate lines, so I'm going to say plus, plus hashtag 13 plus hashtag 13 plus hashtag 13. And later on we can come in and put in headers if we want. So that will concatenate all the fields and make them into a single string. So we're going to quickly save this. And now we're going to open our driver class. This is our object class. T student. We're now going to open in the name of the unit M student underscore U. So I'm going to copy that. Very important. And I'm going to open my object class and let's go to the design. This is what the object class looks like. I've created, you can quickly set this up. I've got the first button and its name is BTN create. I've got a button BTN display. We'll worry about the other two buttons later. And I've got a rich edit box which will allow me to display my information. But we're going to go into the code. The first thing you want to do in the object class is link that. So we're going to paste, which I've already done for you. All right. You need to paste the M student. Okay, I'm going to take that out. I remember I went to M student. I've done a copy. We don't need to copy the semicolon. So we're going to say copy. And we're going to go in here. Well, you can use control V. And we're going to paste that. So that will link us to the M student. And we can compile that. And you'll notice we're picking up an error, which we'll sort out a little later. Actually, let's sort that out now. So, result is assigned F name. So, our, our, our problem here is we're trying to concatenate F grade, F English, and F math, which I'll type integer. So you'll notice it picked up an error. We've got to do a type conversion. So we need to convert that into string because we're assigning it to a string variable. So the command to actually do that, I'm going to put a brackets around this. And the command to convert will be int to string. INT. And that will do that for me. I'm going to repeat that process on English and on maths. You'll notice when I try to compile the object class, it picked the error up. So, we've done that. We're going to save that. Returning to my object class, and you'll notice that I've tried to link that to mstudent, and it picked up an error because of the type. And now you'll notice that the GUI is being displayed. So, we started that error. The next thing you want to do, after we link mstudent underscore u, all right. We're going to go to the var statement, the variable section, and we're going to declare the object obj student is of type t student. And t student is of type class. So in your variable declaration, we've declared a global variable, which is the object obj student. Now coming to the first one, button create click. What we want to do is link our text file and I'm going to show you I've already created a text file for this program to save time the name of the text file I've got in a folder oop text files and the name of the text file is detailed so you can if you haven't have a text file you can quickly make a text file using notepad or word and I've got John 107897898 9, Ensure that you save this text file in the same folder as your program. And mine is called OOP text file. To save time, I've set up the text file. So we're going to link to this text file. So returning to my program, I've declared a variable T file, which is of type text file. I've declared two string variables, name and S line. And I've declared three variables, 
English, Maths, and Grade, which is of type integer. So the first thing we want to do when we're working with a text file is to check if the text file exists. And the command, command is if, and the name of the text file, the method we're using, if file exists, you can pick that up, file exists, and in brackets we're going to have the name of the text file, and its name is details.txt. All right. And it's going to pick that up in the same, it's looking the same folder. So ensure that details is sitting in the same folder as the program that we've written, M Students Group. Now that I have that, so if the file exists, then begin. The first thing we do is we assign. So the command is assign file which links our logical file, which is T file that I've declared, to the physical file on the disk, and that name is details.txt. So there's my first command, assign file. Then we're going to open the file for reading purposes using the command reset file. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to read a line from the text file. So we're going to use read line. So it reads an entire line from the text file. So it's I'm reading from my text file. And I'm going to store this in a variable called S line, which I've declared on the top. We next we're going to assign the name. Remember what's in our text file? We have, just to remind you of what's in the text file, we have John in the first line, then we have the grade and two marks. So each piece of information is on different lines. So when we're reading the first, I'm going to close that. When we're saying read line T file S line, we're actually reading the first line, which is John. So what we're going to do now is store that, store that in a variable called name which is a sign, I've declared a variable called name, which is a sign S line. So I'll read the first line. We're going to repeat this process. And now I'm going to just copy that, which allows me now to read the next line. And you'll notice I use my control D. Just want to get that out of the way. And then the next line I'm going to store in a variable called grade. So I'm going to say grade. We have a variable declared grade with the top integer is a sign S line. The problem why it's not picking up S line, grade is of top integer and S line is a string. So we've got to convert using string to int. So we're going to say string to int and inside there we're going to have S line. Okay, so if we return to the text file, that line is going to read grade 10. Now we're going to read in the English and Maths. So we can copy and paste those two lines. Copy. And we're going to paste the two lines. So we read the grade. Now we're going to read in the Maths mark. The next one will take in, sorry, the English mark, which I've declared as English. And the next one will take in the control paste. So read in the line and we'll, we'll store that line to be our maths mark. Control D. So, the variable is not maths, but maths. Once we've done all that, we've read all the contents of the text file, we now need to pass this to our object. So we're going to call for the object that we've declared OBJ. Student. We're going to instantiate the object is assigned T student. The object class dot create and if we actually go to the constructor the constructor needs three parameters name grade English and math actually four parameters one two three four so we need to pass the name grade English and math to the constructor which we're going to do so in here I'm going to say name comma Grade, comma, English, comma, maths. And those will now be passed to our constructor. 
And if we go back to the program, you will notice we are reading the contents from a text file and passing it to our object. Now, it'll be good to put a message up just to tell the user using a show message. And we can tell them that the object created. And if we run that, hopefully it should work. So there's my GUI coming up. And if I click on button create, it says object created. Now for us to be able to view if this actually took place, we need to go and program the display button. So I'm going to double click on display. If we double click on display, you will notice that to call up the display, the GUI is red display, red dot lines dot add and I'm, I'm going to just call up in my unit class I have the function named toString that concatenates all the attributes so all I need to call for is toString and how do we call for a method we call first for the object obj object student dot toString and that will call for the toString method. Okay, I also want to clear the area so I can go above that and say red display dot clear. And now if I run this, it will show me if the contents on the text file have been transferred by displaying the content and you'll notice John 10 20 78 and 98 and I've quickly created a link to my text file I'm reading from the text file using the method btn create click and I'm sending all the information from the text file to the object by using the statement obj student is assigned t student dot create instantiating the object we go to the program back to the GUI I've also declared two other buttons one to find the average now remember in our unit class we have a method which is called average a function called average which works it out all we have to do now is call for that so if I double click on button average to save time I've written the code and all I got to say is object student or BJ student dot get average and that calls for the function average and that returns the average of the English and maths mark and all I'm doing now is using red display dot line dot add putting a title or a header to this average is equal to now remember get average returns a real so we have to do a conversion float to string going back to the GUI I've also written one that will do an update for us allowing us to change the English and maths mark. I'm going to double click on that and you'll notice I've ordered to save time, I've got the code in. So the first thing we do is using an input box, we ask the user for a new English mark, which they do. And then all we have to do is call for objects name, object student dot set English. And we send the new English mark that the user entered. So if we go back to the object class, if you go to set English, it receives a parameter named I English. It will receive the value and then it changes the global attribute F English to the value that has been received. And if we go to the code, you'll notice that's being done saying set English and we're sending the new mark that the user, user entered. I've done the same thing for Max. And now if we run this and we click on button create object instantiated button display average and if I say for button update I'm going to change the English mark to 1 and change the maths mark to 2 and now if I click on display you'll notice that the English and maths mark have been changed thank you